All right, so I want to explain what I'm doing right now. I made this. What this is is a iPhone uh, shaped box. I would show you the iPhone in this, but uh, I'm shooting with my iPhone. So what I'm doing is I'm building the ultimate selfie box. Um, two mirrors are going to go in here to create sort of a periscope. Um, I've built this to contain my phone. So my phone will slide into that. And uh, what this is going to do, let me explain. What this will do, this will sit here at the front of the box. Okay, I will slide my phone in there and I'll be able to see a mirror image of the back of my phone um, so that I can use my 4K high definition back camera and still see what is in frame. Uh, right now I'm shooting with the low definition front camera and um, it's only shooting in 720 I think. Um, so anyways, this is my upgrade. <laughs> it's a selfie box. I'm gonna make this iPhone freaking work, man. 4K, it's gonna be cinematic, it's gonna be awesome. What I did was I epoxied this together. I used some two-part epoxy. And I epoxied all these layers together to make a nice little slide-in thing. My phone will slide down in there. Hole for my camera. On this side, uh, it's narrower. So it kind of covers the home button, which I might cut out in, just in case I have to reach in there and uh, do it. And then this side is totally covered. Not totally covered, but there's just a lip so it can't fall in. Um, I, it needs to be in the right position. This holds it just perfect. So it's all free. I am going to the store right now. I'm going to Walgreens. I want to try to find like a plastic mirror, even some real mirrors. I need to make the reflective surfaces for my what is it it's a selfie a selfie and it's an iPhone selfie periscope box <laughs> yeah so I have my cartridge that my phone slides into all ready to go um, I just need a mirror to go in here at this angle at like a 45 degree angle no this way 45 degree angle here and then another mirror here at a 45 degree angle so that it will you know selfie back at me <laughs> uh, see what I can find but I love it I'm gonna this is gonna be made so that it be pinned back like with a little velcro strap maybe but to get my phone out I will drop down my door I think I'll have this Velcro to my little door too. Slide that down. I'll be able to retrieve my phone out of there and then uh, close it back up. <laughs> so the search is over. I went to Walgreens and looked at every mirror they had. Nothing worked. My dad mentioned check an auto parts store and that's where I found this. This is a uh, vanity uh, a visor mountable vanity mirror and I took it out and it looks like it's perfect check this thing out man it has three mirrors these side wings are exactly what I was hoping I would find they are the perfect dimensions maybe a touch on the small side but they'll give me a really good idea of what um, I'm recording on my phone through my selfie periscope <laughs> so anyways yes uh, I'm just going to remove these mirrors, place them in my box, and att attach them in the right place, make sure I get them angled right so that I can see what's going on. And uh, so this whole setup will have cost me $10. This was $9.99. So there we go. All right. Ooh, we can get some infinity action. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. It's so amazing. <laughs> So I almost got it perfect. I could fix the angles a little bit better so that I could see better, but I've got it just about perfect. I am filming from the selfie periscope right now. 
and uh, it's in 1080p because I still can't edit 4k but that'll be just temporary and uh, yeah it's working <laughs> it's awesome so here is my selfie periscope box I know this might seem like a really stupid uh, project but um I don't know, I just saw a need. Um, I thought it would be much easier for me to um, to film using my high definition camera if I had a way to see what was actually in the viewer. So I came up with this idea. Uh, other selfie sticks and stuff like that had a rear uh, facing uh, mirror, it was just a regular mirror, to give you an idea of what was in frame, but you still wouldn't know. So I developed this thing in order to um, really have a good idea of what's in frame. Um, the whole reason I'm doing all that is because I want to, I, I really like the iPhone. Uh, I have an iPhone 6S. Um, I also have an iPhone 6 Plus that I'm getting back from repair soon. And those are the cameras I'm just going to use for my entire channel besides the 4K Mavic video. Well, um, those that I, the 6S, I I believe does, uh, or I believe the 6 and the 6S both do 4K video. So what I want to do is I want to make my channel look as good as possible. I want to make some really um, interesting shots and scenes and stuff like that that um, I can film with my iPhone and uh, just forego the cost, the very big cost of getting a really nice like uh, SLR camera or something like that. So, mission complete. I gotta tweak this a little bit more. I'm gonna make it so that it's really cool. One thing I wanna do is I wanna install a screw in the bottom so that I can screw it onto any uh, tripod or monopod or whatever. They all have a universal screw, so I wanna add the nut into the bottom of this. And then um, this thing comes out. What I'm gonna do is, I have it taped right now just for, you know, just for sizing it up. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it held in by um, held in by velcro because this little cartridge is kind of neat my phone slides right in there um, I can slide it in there it sits nicely by itself so I thought this might be useful for some other reason um, my little sandwich cardboard uh, phone cartridge so um, I may how hollow out a little hole over here for like a microphone port um, and then inside of here I need to put the I was just I just taped them in because I needed to see the angles that it had to be so now that I have those angles I'm gonna cut little cardboard um, wedges to put in between and I'm gonna glue everything in so that it's permanent so here it is the selfie periscope <laughs> I felt I needed to record just a little bit more um, and explain you know uh, a little bit about myself too. Well, when I was in, I believe, seventh grade or eighth grade, um, my mom went to Sears and bought a VHS camcorder. I'm talking like, uh, you know, pretty mobile, but the kind that you would sit on your shoulder and film from. And, um, you know, my mind just went wild. So after having it for a while, you know, it was a precious little thing for a little bit. I worked on my mom and worked on my mom. And eventually I started filming little funny movies for some reason. Well, me and my friend Paul, um, he lived in the neighborhood over there. Um, for my birthday one year, I got a ventriloquist doll. It, his name was Willie Talks. And it was a little plastic doll and you could pull a string in his back and his mouth would move. And it was the creepiest little thing. I mean, it's a ventriloquist doll. It's creepy. So we thought, make a joke of it, and we used it as a main character in our little uh, short movie. And really what we did was we just figured out every way that we could to hurt Willie Talks. So uh, we filmed a bunch of scenes, actually, where, you know, he went for a ride on my dog and got dragged across the yard. Uh, everything that happened to him, he, it was like slapstick comedy. Um, but... I've always been into making movies and um, film and photography and stuff like that somewhat. So this is giving me a chance to do, 
I, I really want to take on the challenge of like how good can I make my challenge channel look with modest uh, things. I mean, I find I think my iPhone as a camera is pretty modest. It's a cell phone. Of course, this is the guy that says this that has the thousand dollar drone, too. But anyways, I want to make a like a high quality channel. I think. Um, Funny thing is, I'm invest investing in all this, and I haven't even gotten an AdSense account yet, and I don't know if uh, it's going to be any return on the investment that I'm putting into it. I'm really not doing it for making YouTube money. I want to do it to document my travels and to have a, a really fun time and to live life and to have adventures, and um, I want to document all of that. I think it'll be a really fun uh, thing to do. It'll be a purpose for me traveling. I think if you just travel and don't have any thing to do, you know, I want to be kind of working as I travel, sort of, and, um, you know, I'll figure out life as it comes. And, uh, yeah. Sometimes I forget to say goodbye at the end of my videos, but I really appreciate you guys watching in the comments and everything. But, uh, I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.